Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F, but in this video, WRNM 382, we're going to be talking about the GMRS 50X1 from Baofeng Tech, and we'll get started right after this. Before we begin, if you could do me a small favor and click on that subscribe button. When you're done there, go over to the thumbs up and hit that. Now, if you don't like what you're seeing, there's a thumbs down button. Why don't you hit that one twice? Okay, the items that come in the box, you get an instruction manual, mounting bracket, power cord, some hardware for the mounting bracket, microphone mount, the radio itself, and the microphone. I was also sent this programming cable. It's the PC04 FTDI programming cable. I also picked up this Nagoya antenna. It's the model UT72. It's a dual band. It has a 1.7 dBi gain on 2 meters and a 3.5 dBi gain on 440. Max power is 80 watts and it's about 20 inches long. All these items can be found on the Baofeng Tech website and I will put links in the description. They have a really good owner's manual. You don't have to worry about any broken English or hiring somebody to decipher it. It all flows very well and is easy to understand. Okay, on the front of the radio, you have your main menu knob, VFO memory, call. This one will lock so you don't accidentally change the channel. It also switches the power from high to low. You have the jack for the programming cable, monitor, commercial FM stations. You can check which band you want to monitor with this button as well as exit the menu. And you have your volume and power button and the jack for the mic. And on the back, you have the jack for an external speaker, power cord, SO239, and down inside the heat sink is the cooling fan. The BTEC GMRS 50X1 goes for $199.89 at the time of recording this video. It is a 50 watt radio. It has dual band scanning for 2 meters and 440, and those ranges are 136 to 174.99 megahertz and 400 to 520.99 megahertz UHF. The settings for power, high is 50 watts, mid is 20 watts, and low is 5 watts. It weighs approximately 2.65 pounds and it is 5.7 inches wide by 1.85 inches high by 7.5 inches deep. It has a DTMF handheld microphone and one of the things they say on their website is the manual was written in the US. Okay, across the top, with this mic, you can pretty much do anything you need to on the radio through the menu. You have your menu button, up and down arrows, the exit button. Down here on the bottom right where the pound key is, that will allow you to change the power of the radio. And where the asterisk is, you can also scan. Okay, on the main screen at the very top, you have your primary channel settings, the primary channel, and then the multi-watch channels. Now you can either control and skip to one of these four, either through the exit or ABCD button here on the bottom right, or you can do it by using the top right button on the hand mic. It'll just keep rotating all the way through. Okay, to access the menu, you can either go through the front left button here that will take you into it. You make your changes, scroll around, exit with the bottom right, or you can do it from the hand mic. Top left button takes you into the menu, and then you can use the next two top buttons to either scroll up or down. As you can see, there's 63 total menu items. And it's pretty much your standard Baofeng menu. Change your step, your squelch level, power level. You can either do it through the menu or through the bottom right button. Change your timeout timer. Your automatic power off, set it for a half an hour. Whether you want wide or narrow, whether you want the beeps on or off. Then you have your receive DCS, your receive CTCSS, 
your transmit for both DTMF you can just keep scrolling through and set everything up that you need to and then to exit again you can either use the bottom right button on the display the top right button on the mic and you can see when you're on this repeater right here where the L is if you push the bottom right button it'll scroll through the power settings and for the power high is 50 watts mid is 20 watts and low is 5 watts and as stated earlier everything that you can do from the front end of the radio can be controlled from the hand mic. Now where it says Baofeng Tech here at the bottom, that serves a few purposes. It will show your microphone power or gain. On the left it will show you an indicator bar and on the right it will give you a numeric value. And on the receive side it will show you on the left side an indicator bar of your receive strength as well as a numeric value for that. Okay, let's hook this up to the computer and I'll show you how to program this from Chirp. Okay, go to the baofengtech.com. You can go to mobile. That'll get you to the page you want for the radio we're looking at, the 50X1. Now you can either download the software direct from Dan Planet or you can go to the software support section and it'll give you information about Chirp and the fact that it works on OS X, Linux, and Windows. I already have it downloaded. So the first thing you want to do, make sure that you're all plugged in. Once you have everything hooked up, you can go to radio, download from radio, pick your vendor, whichever one it is. In this case, we're at BTEC and we're using the GMRS 50X1. For BTEC, you can also do a whole host of radios that they sell. Make sure your COM port is set correctly. Click OK, go through all these warnings, and it reads it. Okay, and it automatically shows you all the frequencies in here. You have the regular GMRS frequencies, and then it gives you all the repeaters. One of the ones I need to change 462675 is a local one to me, and that's on Santiago Peak. It does have a tone, and that tone is 146.2. And you can put in things that you'd like to listen to, like in this case we'll do the national calling frequency. That's a simplex so we don't have to worry about any tones and I have a repeater that I like to listen to around here which is 145.220 That's the Clara one since I'm only monitoring it, I don't need to worry about any of the tone stuff either. Once you have everything in here that you want to input, go on over to settings. And here you can change your colors of the front display. And here you have all the bands. You can change those. See if we can't change those to a different color, we'll try indigo. And pretty much everything has its own color that you can put on there. And you can display on like mode A. Display mode A, you can do the name, and then frequency, and 
And what this allows you to do is you can do a sync. So it ties together the A and B and the C and D. This way you'll see the channel name and its frequency at the same time. Advanced settings, you can change this if you want from Gives you a series of other things to change and work with. Everything that you need to do in the menu can be done right here from uh, settings. And you can see where we had already changed the timeout timer to 120 and the auto power off to 30 minutes. Backlight timer. How long do you want the backlight on for? And if you want the beeps and all that good stuff. Now once you have everything set up the way you like it, go back up to radio, upload to radio, and again it'll give you all the warnings, and it'll start. And the radio reboots and everything is set up. One of the things I want to point out on here is it gives you the offsets are already pre-programmed in here. And you'll notice some of these are already preset to low power or high power. The ones that are already set to low, you cannot change them. That is required by the FCC. Now let's throw this on a meter and check those power ratings. Okay, we've got everything set up to test out the power. We're going to be using an MFJ 849 watt meter. The power is going to come from a 20 amp hour bio -NO battery and we're going into an MFJ 300 watt dummy load. As you can see from the setup, we've changed some of the colors and these are now synchronized. Okay, first one we try out is GMRS1 and it is locked out so we cannot change that power from low. And we're at about six and a half watts with an SWR of 1.22. And again, this is going into a 300 watt dry dummy load from MFJ. Next one I'm going to try is GMRS 15. Now per FCC guidelines, I cannot transmit on eight through 14. So we'll start with low and we're at 6.8. Medium, 28.8, and high, we're at 47. Okay, now we'll try at the top of the repeater on low power. We're at almost 7 watts. For medium power, 29. And for high power, 47. Let's see if we can't make contact right quick. And we're available for a quick signal report trying out a new radio, WRNM 382. WRM 382, loud and clear, WRS I really appreciate it, just trying out a brand new GMRS 50X1 from Baofeng Tech. The antenna I have on it right now is a Nagoya UV72. Got it off their uh, website as well. I think it's like $29. Oh, that's one of those mag mounts. I have one too, also. Excellent. If it did the job, do that. 73, WRR763. Have a great day for you too. You too, WRNM382, clear. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.